Hello everyone, in this video I'm gonna solve problem 66 of chapter 6. Determine the horizontal and vertical components of force at pins A and D. So we wanna find the forces that is acting at pin A and at pin D. So I'm gonna draw the free body diagram of member A, B, C and member B, D. Looking at the problem, we can identify that member B, D is a two force member. That means that the forces acting at pin B and pin D would be the same. So if I draw my free body diagram, I draw both free body diagrams side by side and I'm going to call it exploded free body diagram because I can draw action and reaction forces. So here is my member BD. Let's assume it's in tension. The two forces are going to be the same, so I'm going to call them FB and FB. So there would be a reaction that would be force FB. At A, I have AX and AY. And at C, I have a pin C, so I can write CX and CY, but it's easier if we keep the pulley on our free body diagram. So technically, we are going to draw the free body diagram of member ABC in addition to the pulley. Because if you open it, then we have to deal with more unknowns. So we have a tension here. We have a tension here, and also the rope would be this tension. And I'm gonna call this F B. So this is a free body diagram of the two members. First, we need to find that tension. So if I draw the free body diagram of pulley E here, I can find the values for the tension. I have two tensions here, and here would be 12 kN. So simply summation of forces in Y, assuming Y is within this direction, therefore T would be 6 kN. So I have the magnitude of my tension. So looking at the free body diagrams, my unknowns are AX, AY, and force FP. So I have three unknowns, and in 2D equilibrium, I can find three unknowns with three equilibrium equation that I have. So I'm gonna write my equilibrium equations. First, I'm gonna start by summation of moment about A. So let's summation of moment about A. Would be zero counterclockwise positive. So my force FB is going to create a moment. FB has a horizontal and vertical component. So force FB, uh, if I draw it bigger here, we are dealing with 1.5, 2, and 2.5 triangle. Or I can use a similar triangle of 4, 3, and 5. So that would be my force FB. It has a vertical and horizontal component. So the horizontal component is not gonna create any moment because it's going through point A, but the vertical component is gonna create a moment and it's gonna create a counterclockwise moment. So it would be a positive moment. So I will write my force FB. If I wanna find the vertical component, I need to multiply it by four over five. The moment arm is 1.5. This is the moment arm. So if I 1.5 meter. I have three other forces. Tension is gonna create a clockwise moment, so it would be negative. Here another tension, it would be also creating a clockwise moment, so that would be negative, but the moment arm would be different. For this one, we have 1.5 here, 1.5 here. For the other moment, we have to consider the other additional moment arm that we have. So the moment would be negative six for the first tension. Moment arm would be three. Then six here, moment arm would be 3.3. .3. And I have my tension here, which is creating a clockwise, 
counterclockwise moment, so it, it had a positive moment, and the moment arm is just the radius, 0 0.3, equals 0. Therefore, I have one unknown, and the value of FBD or FB would be 30 kilonewton. So I found a positive value, that means that the direction I assumed is, in, is correct. So I, now that I have FB, I can write summation of forces in X and Y and find AX and AY. So I'm going to write it here this time. Summation of forces in X equals 0. I have AX. FB, I have the magnitude and the direction. So it's the horizontal component would be 3 over 5. And then I have a negative 6. Therefore, AX would be 24 kilonewtons. Summation of forces in Y will give me AY. I have AY. The vertical component of force FB would be positive. 4, 5, I have negative 6. Another negative 6 equals 0. AY would be 12 kilonewtons. So I found all my unknowns. The three unknowns. The problem is asking for the components of force at B. So if I draw my free body diagram here again, I assume tension and that was the correct assumption. And I find a value for FB to be 30 kilonewton. And I know this is 3, 4, 5. So if I want to find a component at B or at D, then I have my pin here. And let's call that FD. FD and FB are the same, but the component for DX would be 3 over 5. 30 would be 80. 18 kilonewton and dy would be has a negative component in, in negative y so that would be 4 over 5 30 negative 24 kilonewton so this is the forces that the pin is acting on the member and this is the force that the member is acting on the pin so I found the components for X and Y at pin D.